So welcome back. Um, here we will be discussing on the classification of lipids. So the lipids are classified into simple lipids, compound lipids or otherwise which is known as conjugated lipids and derived lipids. Simple lipids as the name suggests it is uh, simply the lipids alone. Okay. So they are esters of fatty acids okay. and uh, compound lipids or conjugated lipids it will contain other than the esters of fatty acids, they will have some other non-lipid compound, right? And derived lipids are, um, they are like hydrophobic compounds, the long hydrocarbon ring, I mean, long hydrocarbon chain attached to hydrocarbon ring, okay? Uh, we will be dealing it in detail, each one, but here we can see that simple lipids are di uh, divided into two, the true fat or the, uh, what do you call the, neutral fats and the waxes okay neutral fat it contains they are simply the glycerides okay almost like tri triglycerides right having a glycerol molecule and to each of the hydroxyl group of the glycerol molecule attached are the fatty acid chains so they are the triglyceride or neutral fat the product it is known as the triglyceride i hope you know that okay um, so can see that the true fat is actually the triglycerides I mean uh, the or the neutral fat wax on the other hand they are esters of long chain fatty acids and long chain non glycerol or monohydric alcohol okay it may be glycerol but some other alcohol okay um, compound lipids or it is otherwise known as conjugated lipids they are, as already mentioned, esters of fatty acids. But other than these, it may contain some other groups. For example, in phospholipid, it contains phosphoric acid, phosphic compound. In glycolipid, it contains carbohydrate. In sulfolipids, it contains sulfur-based compounds. In lipoproteins, it is like esters of fatty acids along with protein. Okay. So, we will be dealing in detail, especially the phospholipids in this particular uh, session. Okay. Now, phospholipids, they are, for like, of, we can divide it into three, actually, phosphatidic acid or phosphoglycerides as such, phosphoglycerides, then plasmalogens and sphingomyrins or sphingolipids, okay. Phospholipids, uh, so we will see here, okay, this is the glycerol molecule, okay, CH2OH, CHOH, CH2OH. We can see there are three alcohol groups which are prone to esterification with fatty acids. When all these three alcohol groups are, um, esterified with a fatty acid molecule each, we get a triglyceride. Okay, a triglyceride. And this is the simple lipid, triglyceride molecule. Right. So, this is actually the neutral fat, which we have already mentioned, simple lipid, glycerol, and to each alcohol, a fatty acid is uh, bound to through ester bond. Okay, we have already mentioned what is ester bond. We can see here, this is the ester bond. Okay, it is COC. Okay, this is a ester bond. Okay. So here, this is a simple lipid. When we speak about conjugated lipids, these two are conjugated lipids. So you can see there is a ester, ester is a fatty acid here, this part. Okay, and apart from this, there is another molecule. Okay, so this is a typical example of a phospholipid, glycerol, with two hydroxyl groups esterified with fatty acid, and one hydroxyl group being attached to phosphate molecule. And this bond is known as phosphodiester bond. Okay, it is true phosphoester bond. Right? Phosphoester bond. Clear? It will be COP. We will be seeing it in uh, the coming slides. Okay. And when one of the, um, when phosphate is attached to alcohol, we get the phospholipid. Okay. But when the alcohol is, yeah, here. So this is actually the phosphatidic acid. Okay. I mean, uh, the phospholipid, when instead of alcohol here, uh, yeah, if it is uh, like uh, choline, the phospholipid becomes lecithin. And if here we have ethanolamine, that's another type of alcohol, isn't it? It is a cephalid, right? Then we have the sphingolipid. Okay, this is sphingolipid. What is the difference between phospholipid and sphingolipid? It is the type of the alcohol which is actually making the 
a lipid instead of glycerol if the lipid is having another alcohol based compound that is sphingosin we call this lipid as a sphingolipid okay there there is only one fatty acid attached and uh, actually two alcohol groups are esterified but one with fatty acid one with phospho phosphate compound okay so this is a sphingolipid so these two kinds are known as conjugated lipids because on hydrolysis what what happens we get fatty acids we get alcohol glycerol as sphingosin plus some other non lipid compound okay so that is why this is known as a conjugated lipid but what happens to simple simple lipids when we hydrolyze it we get only fatty acids and glycerol no other uh, uh, non lipid compounds are available i mean are obtained okay so this is it glycolipids uh, that is carbohydrate based lipids it can it can be divided into cerebrosides and gangliosides okay now we will see the simple lipids simple lipids as we have already mentioned they are esters of fatty acids with various alcohols mainly uh, the what you call glycerol uh they are otherwise referred as neutral uh, lipids and uh, as mentioned it includes the fats and oils or the neutral fats and waxes two types okay two types of simple lipids are there. when we speak about the fats and um, oils the fats they are esters of fatty acids with glycerol okay and with glycerol maximum of three fatty acids can bind through ester bonds and that kind of a fat is known as a triacyl glycerol or triglyceride okay they are known as triacyl glycerol or glycerides so uh, the or uh, here in the case of uh, uh, fats yeah uh, or the neutral fats uh, it is a mixture of triacyl glycerols okay and uh, as uh, it is fully esterified glycerol formed of three fatty acid molecules uh linked with the hydroxyl three hydroxyl groups of a glycerol molecule a single glycerol molecule okay and triacyl glycerols contain the same kind of fatty acid in all the three positions it is known as a homoglyceride okay when all the three fatty acids are the same as we have already mentioned how is triacyl glycerol formed one glycerol molecule plus three fatty acids isn't it so here we have seen right one glycerol molecule plus three fatty acids it forms a neutral fat okay if all the three fatty acids are the same we call it as a homoglyceride okay and on the other hand if uh, like it is different uh, fatty acid molecules we call it as a heteroglyceride homoglyceride example tristyrene if all the three fatty acids are stearic acid we call it as a tristyrene which is a homoglyceride if it is palmitic acid is a tripalmitin it is a homoglyceride again okay oleic acid it is triolein okay heteroglycerides on the other hand it is composed of i mean it is formed of uh, it contains a different uh, what you call uh, fatty acids uh, maybe one or two different kind one i mean two to three different kinds of uh, fatty acids may be attached to the uh, hydroxyl groups of the glycerol and it forms a mixed triacyl glycerol or a heteroglycerides and we can see that most natural fats are triglyceride i mean uh, heteroglyceride in nature okay most natural fats that is naturally occurring natural fats are, are they are heteroglycerides in nature and uh, so here we can see that um, the most natural fats are uh, uh, actually mixtures of uh, uh, different kinds of uh, fatty acids and uh, in triacyl glycerol three uh, acidic and basic groups are absent and uh, hence they are known as neutral fats why so because we can see that uh, hydroxyl groups they bind to coh group isn't it here you can see right so free carboxyl group is absent free acidic group is absent and there are no free basic groups as well so what happens it is neutral in nature and that is why it is known as a neutral fat okay so neutral fats otherwise it is uh, glycerides or acyl glycerols they are the products of ester linkage between fatty acids and glycerol okay and we can see that uh, triacyl glycerols that is three fatty acids plus glycerol molecule form the most abundant among the neutral fats clear so that is about the uh, fats and oils and we can see that oil is a liquid in at room temperature while fat is solid at room temperature oil and fats it comes under the main group the neutral fat okay 
Now coming to the next one, waxes. Waxes are esters of uh, fatty acid, fatty acids with alcohols. Okay, other than glycerol. So it it, it is not uh, glycerol. Instead, it is some other alcohol, which forms uh, esters with fatty acid. Okay, and these alcohols it could be aliphatic or uh, alicyclic, um, cyclic compound. Okay, and uh, we can see they may contain uh, dry dihydroxy alcohols, uh, free fatty acids. Saturate and saturated uh, hydrocarbons as well. Okay, and uh, they are also mixtures of esters and ethers, ether molecule. Okay, and waxes we can see they are uh, hydrophobic, highly hydrophobic, and resistant to uh, atmospheric oxidation. Uh, waxes they are used to in the preparation of candles, lubricants, cosmetics, ointments, polishes. They are it is actually the uh, what you call its application in the industrial field. But in uh, natural and uh, world, among plants and animals, we can see the different kinds of waxes. One is beeswax. Okay, it is mericel palmitae. We can see it is a uh, this is a tricontinental palmitate, the major component of beeswax. I hope you know what is beeswax. Okay, it is actually the Uh, component with which the beehive is uh, made. Okay, so beehive is made by the beeswax, and actually the beeswax is produced by uh, the glands situated on either side of their abdomen. Okay, the, it is uh, formed in wax flakes, right? And it is being used for the uh, what you call development of the beehive. Okay, and the major component of the beeswax it is the uh, tricontinental. a palmitate and it is an ester of palmitic acid with the alcohol triacantonol okay you can see this is the triacantonol and this is the palmitic acid okay so alcohol plus the acid this is a ester bond coc bond and this is what the major component of the beeswax is okay now another is the carnauba wax it is mixture of esters free fatty acids alcohols and hydrocarbons and carnauba wax is used extensively in uh, floor waxes automobile waxes and furn furniture polishes okay and it the major component that is mericel serotate and this is the mericel serotate compound uh, you have the fatty acid here right and it is the alcohol here and this uh, it is obtained from uh, carnauba wax is uh, found in or extracted can be extracted from the leaves of certain brazilian palm trees and the third type is a sperm whale oil sperm whale oil it is uh, found in the head of the sperm whale the five sister genus and nearly 75% of its wax uh, esters and 25% is triglycerides uh, we can see saturated and unsaturated fatty acids as well as alcohols in them okay so i hope it is clear beeswax carnauba wax and sperm whale oil okay uh, so this is the these this is about the uh, simple lipids right so simple lipids we saw they are simply esters of fatty acids with alcohols uh, even the alcohol is glycerol they are considered to be the natural or neutral fats the and oils and it could be usually uh, triacyl glycerols are the naturally occurring or the abundant kind of uh, uh, what you call glycerides um, and uh, it could be homoglyceride and heteroglyceride but most of the naturally occurring fats they are heteroglyceride type the second type of simple lipid is a wax wax contains uh, waxes are also uh, esters of fatty acids with alcohol but the alcohol it may be glycerol always okay it is actually some other uh, uh, like uh, alcohols other than um, glycerol okay usually in most cases we can see it is mericel alcohol okay and uh, they are all hydro uh, highly hydrophobic resistant to atmospheric oxidation the naturally occurring waxes we have seen it is beeswax carnauba wax and sperm whale oil beeswax is the one which is used for the making of the beehive and uh, carnauba wax it is uh, found uh, it is a plant wax found in the leaf cuticle especially the brazilian uh, palm trees right and sperm whale oil it is uh, uh, found in the head of the sperm whale and it is almost 75% wax esters and 25% triglycerides it is a mixture Okay, it is not only waxes but also the neutral fat. Okay, so this is all about the simple lipids. Fine.